Hello, so for this section of my project, I'll add a different dimension by doing a brief commentary on one of the pages from my comic. So if you would like, you could pause the video and read through the panels. This is the third section of my comic, where I discuss how graphic medicine and embodied reading are great tools to help represent embodiment theory. Since embodiment theory focuses on the role our body plays in helping us analyze experiences and understand the world, after doing my research, I figured that graphic medicine would be great to break down embodiment theory since it focuses on the use of comics in representing experiences in patient care. This genre is very effective for embodiment since a person's embodied experience is commonly accentuated when they are experiencing a state of illness. For more on this, see my entry on my work cited page on Courtney Donovan. Now, even though embodied experiences are visible through graphic medicine, how can we actually access the experience of another person? We cannot physically occupy our body and someone else's, so how do we see the embodied experience of someone else? As I mentioned on the page here, embodied reading is the key for accessing embodied experiences shown through graphic medicine. Although we cannot morph into a comic and experience the world there, embodied reading does this for us through the use of our own embodied experience and the elements from the text to enable us to observe the internal and external world of the character. In other words, we are occupying the body of the character and visualizing their experience as we read. So this is just one example from my comic, and I had fun making it during my final weeks over the summer. Thank you very much for watching my presentation, and I hope it was engaging and fulfilling.